The eruption was only part of the surprise. Thank you very much, Kim. Well, speaking of around the country in, well, about five seconds here, showers through parts of the prairies for today. And then, Kasia, you got caught in this rain just outside of our Oakville studios. Some heavy amounts of rain through parts of Ontario and Quebec. Tomorrow, though, Atlanta, Canada story. Yeah, that's right. And temperatures, well, they're not necessarily going to be rebounding for us in the GTA. Please note we've got temps falling to about 11, 12 in southern Ontario in cloudy conditions, but then much better for us tomorrow, Mike. That's right. Good news for tomorrow. Still below seasonable long. A lot more sunshine. Hope you have a lot of fun things planned on the weekend. Maybe check out a fair. Kasia, you were at a fair yesterday, and I heard you had some trouble. Yeah, this is the Bimbrook Fall Fair. It's going on right now. If you want to check it out, just better conditions for that tomorrow. Um, if you do want to try holding a pig for yourself. Well, this looks cute. It looks like you guys are having some fun there. Yeah. And, no, okay. <laughs> I would like to mention to our friends at PETA, I was holding it right, apparently. It was just, I think it, he was just a little camera shy. Camera shy, maybe he was hungry as well. So this afternoon, we are looking at, well, high pressure moving in once that rain slides eastward. Beautiful day in the south. Through us some showers through parts of northwestern Ontario. Um. You do not have to go too far to see signs of fall. I mean, these temperatures that we're experiencing, they're very typical of early October. Temps in the low to mid-teens, getting a little cooler under these clouds. Still a chance of an isolated shower. We're seeing some lake effect showers today and behind that upper level feature that brought us some showers earlier this morning. If you're heading out, yeah, maybe keeping that umbrella handy just in case and a light jacket, I would strongly recommend that, Mike. Cash, a question for you. Did you turn your heat on in your car on your way to work this morning? No, but I do basically every other morning lately. Not today. Okay, and it for hopefully quite a while. Uh, thank goodness. We've been calling it snow temper as a result of that 40 centimeters of snow fell just outside of Calgary. So what a week it's been. Meanwhile, next week, they're going to see temperatures around 23. But will we? Not quite. All right, temperature is still cool for us today. Chance of isolated showers in behind that system that did produce the rain, and eventually that's making its way further east for you in the Maritimes. That's right. Atlantic Canada will be a rain story for tomorrow. Behind that high pressure, fair conditions, a little bit on the cooler side for much of Ontario and Quebec. But get out there and enjoy that sunshine. And then as we get into the work week, Cash, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. That's right. So beginning with the sunshine, and eventually we see a low pressure system move in from the states and also merge from the north and Basically, that means we do have a chance of isolated showers through the overnight or the evening, Monday evening into your Tuesday. That's for southern Ontario. Isolated showers, maybe heavier amounts up towards cottage country. But let's take a look at the seven-day forecast for Halifax. Rain in the forecast for Sunday. Seasonal for the rest of the week. Then lots of sun, but we cool down for next weekend. That's a similar pattern across much of eastern Canada. And heading now to the nation's capital. Yeah, we do have that chance of showers on your Monday. And temperatures... Well, they're staying a little cooler for some time. Going on in the city of Toronto, right? Whether you're Ukrainian or Polish, and regardless, we have a chance of fog, frost rather, this evening as temperatures dip down to the freezing mark in northern Ontario. So you wouldn't necessarily want to be on any street festival there. However, for southern and southwestern Ontario, temperatures around 12 degrees, so much better through these areas. Meanwhile, in Newfoundland, also, some frost here, northern portions of the province, and then eastern portions of the province picking up the most amount of rain with this incoming system. So you'll be seeing it a little bit earlier in places like New Brunswick, pushing uh, further east through the overnight, and eventually you'll be picking up the most amount of rain coastal regions of Nova Scotia. Meanwhile, you always want to pay very close attention to your driving, whether or not there's rain. Here's Kim. The eruption was only part of the surprise. It's going on right now if you want to check it out. Just better conditions for that tomorrow. Um, if you do want to try holding a pig for yourself. Well, this looks cute. It looks like you guys are having some fun there. Yeah. And no, okay. <laughs> I would like to mention to our friends at PETA, I was holding it right, apparently. It was just, I think it, he was just a little camera shy. Camera shy, maybe he was hungry as well. So this afternoon...